hi guys you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to insights with dara so today i'll be teaching you on how to cut a box size so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please click the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when i drop a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for all that you have been doing so let's get down to business the measurement you will need to cut a box size is your waist. You need your lap measurement. That's one of your lap. Then you will need the box size length, the length in which you want the box size to get to. So let's get down to work. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to get my length. I'm working with length 14 for the box size. This is 14 inches. Just rule it out. Then I will be adding extra two inches for the elastic casing because I'm going to be attaching an elastic to the boxers. Extra two inches, then one additional inch for the folding allowance. So everything together will be around the 17 inches. That's 13, sorry, 14 plus 3, 17 inches. So I think, let me do it like this. So everything will be 14, in, 17 inches. So the next thing you will do is to divide your lap by two. Here I'm working with lap 24. Lap 24 divided by two will give me 12 inches. So 12 inches plus two inches, that's 14 inches. I'm adding extra two inches to my calculation. So I'm working with my lap. My lap is then um, 24 divided by 2, 12 plus additional 2 inches. So we have 14 inches. So 14 inches by 17 inches. That's the measurement we are working with. So the next thing you will do is to calculate your waist measurement. We are working with waist 34. So 34 divided by 4 will give me 8 and a half. 8 and a half plus 2 inches because I'm putting an elastic inside of it. If I don't add extra 2 inches, the waist becomes so small. So you add 2 extra inches for the elastic. So the next thing I will do is to measure my, my flap. Here I'm going to be using the same the same thing I used for my waist here for my flap. This is ten and a half. I'll measure ten and a half here plus additional two inches. Remember, we are adding the casing for elastic. So ten and a half plus additional two inches will give me twelve and a half. So when I'm done sewing the elastic, let's say this is the two inches. When I'm done sewing the elastic on it, I will it will go back to the exact 10 and a half inches that I have here. So I will take the measurement, the same measurement I have here. This is 10 and a half. I'll bring it down here. 10 and a half. Then I'll just connect it. I'll connect it. If you, ha you have a ruler close by, you can also use a ruler. Then I'll just connect it and roll it this way. So the next thing to do is to measure your 118 here and curve it out. So here yeah, I want my crouch to be, because this box as is for a medium sized person, I want the crouch to be around two and a half. If you are saying for a fat person, you can increase it, but since this is a it's just a medium sized box size. I want the flap to and uh, the crouch, sorry, to be around two and a half. That's what I have here, two and a half. Then the next thing I'll do is to mark one inch. You see, this is how I'm going to do it for my trouser flap. This is it here. So, this is how it's going to look like. Then I'll go back again to cross-check my measurement. Remember, our lap is two 
uh, 24 divided by 2, that's um, 12 inches. Then I'll connect it down to this place. So basically, this is the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the front of my boxers now. So you cut like this. I'm not going to shape it at the side here. So I just cut it like this. So this is the front. We are done cutting the front. So this is what you have in the front. So we are going to go ahead and cut the back right now. So I'll fold my fabric again. I'll fold it. The only difference here between the front and the back is just the allowance I'm going to be adding. I'm going to be adding one inch allowance to the back of the boxers. So this is the back. So you have to fold in this this additional one and a half that we created here. So we need to make sure the measurement is accurate. So, it's at this side, you add your two inches here. Sorry, your one inch. You add your one inch at this side. At this side, you add your one inch. So, I'll just go ahead and cut it. And remember to fold this inside too. We don't need it at the back. So, you fold it very well. And just cut. This is it. This box is, is for a medium person. So as you can see, this is it. So we are done with the cutting. I don't want this video to be long. So you can see, we only have this in front, then the allowance at the back. So we are done with the cutting. So I'm going to make another video, the part two of this video, where I'm going to be teaching us how to sew. So if you find this video helpful, kindly like this video and leave your comments. I would love to see your comments at the comment section. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do have a lovely day. Bye.